Good morning. Wonderful day. A brand new day. The Lord has allowed us to enter into this new day. And we must glorify Him through our lives. And so let us begin this day by meditating on God's wonderful word, which gives us direction and guidance. And so today's meditation is taken from the second Corinthian letter of Paul, chapter 5, verse 17. A very familiar verse to all of us, which says, if anyone is in Christ, is a new creation. All the old things have gone. Behold, everything new has come. The way to new creation, it begins with a conviction of sin, followed by repentance. Repentance is not feeling sorry for the wrong that you have committed against somebody or against God. While such feelings are normal, but it may not produce a genuine change of heart or thinking. For this to happen, a deep conviction of the wrong committed against God or against anybody else must happen. And this conviction leads to repentance. And with a broken spirit, with real brokenness, sometimes when some people, not these days we don't see it often, but I remember how people used to cry uncontrollably under the deep conviction of a sin or wrong. And such genuine conviction which produces repentance with a welled up eyes with tears. This is godly sorrow. And the Bible says godly sorrow leads us to repent with tears. A genuine repentance. Such repentance will make way for forgiveness. Once forgiven, cleansing begins. This cleansing is done by the blood of Jesus Christ which he shed on the cross. He is called the Lamb of God. The Lamb that came from heaven. Whose blood alone can not only really just cover the sin. But take away the sin. And forgive our sin. And also deliver us from the power and grip of a sin in our lives. This cleansing is the removal of everything which makes me unclean. This uncleanness makes my character darker and black and repulsive to God who is holy. Always remember our God is holy. And when he saves people, he saves them to holiness. Let us not forget it. And uh, without this cleansing, we remain unclean, ungodly, unholy, with a darker, blacker character, an abominable nature producing a hellish laughter, producing a, 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 a sensual look with evil intention, dominated by demons, producing a diabolical action, which is terror of darkness. Everything changes, all these things changes, when in, re in response to genuine repentance, Jesus comes to stay and be the Lord of my life. As I 
surrender myself to the Lordship of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thus he begins to rule over my life. The old me is dead. Which is symbolized by the baptism to which I submit myself. And as I come out of the water, baptismal water, I declare to the world, it's no longer I who lives, but Christ lives in me. The old me is replaced by Christ and everything is new. A new life, a new nature, a new character, a new desire, a new family, a new household, and a new holy living, a new habit, a new behavior, and a new love, a new song, a new uh, friends, a new fellowship, and a new look, and a new walk. In this new life, I am no longer the master. I am newborn to be a servant to serve my master. I take a new turn, which is a U turn, leaving the old path behind and left the way leading to death. I am now walking in the highway of holiness, righteousness, love, and purity. Faith and holiness and Christ-likeness. I am no longer belong to myself. I belong to someone else. I belong to the Lord Jesus Christ who purchased me by paying a big, big price. And that price is his own life and his own blood. There was nothing in me that would attract Jesus. But he looked beyond my fault and he saw something extremely precious in me. And he alone saw the possibility of me becoming a new creation. And his grace appeared to me. And that grace enabled me to look to Jesus and acknowledge him as my Lord and Savior. And so, my friends, this new creation begins with that deep conviction of sin. And in response to that conviction, repentance. Repentance pave way for the cleansing. And the cleansing with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. And the cleansing made it possible for my heart to be clean. And my heart is now prepared to welcome Jesus the King to enthrone upon my heart. And now he lives in my heart and he rules and he is in control. This is the life that is to be lived which will take me into heaven to be with Jesus forever and ever. This is the way you become a new creation. So this morning I pray that you would submit yourself to the Lordship of Jesus Christ and that there is a genuine repentance caused by a genuine conviction of a sin. Not simply feeling sorry for what you did, 
Judas Iscariot also felt sorry for what he did in betraying Jesus. But that did not produce any true repentance in him. And that's how he is lost for eternity. But here is a Savior waiting for you. Come to him and be new. In Jesus' name, I thank God for you. And as you begin to walk in this new way, highway to holiness, serve the Lord with your whole heart. This is a wonderful day, my friends. You know, have a good day with Jesus by your side. Amen.